Good evening. It's James, also known as the Canadian Comedian. It's unfortunate that I've uh, decided to not be here to tell you jokes, but instead to address certain situations going on in the U.S. right now, including the death of officers in Dallas and others who have been shot, as well as innocent individuals who were also uh, killed at the hands of police recently. As you may know me from, you know, various comedy shows in New Westminster at Laugh Lines, at Yuck Yucks comedy clubs throughout Canada, the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, and the Comedy Store in Hollywood, among many, many others. The last time I was actually in Hollywood and performed at the Comedy Store here, was many years ago, and at that time, we were waiting for the civil verdict in the Rodney King trial to come in. As the trial ended and the jury deliberated and the decision came in, the National Guard was called in before the verdict was read. The city was on standstill. People were in the streets with radios and portable little televisions. You could cut the tension in the air with a knife. As you looked around down at Florence, Normandy, and other areas of greater Los Angeles, you could see the devastation that the riots had held and caused. There were store owners, small family shops that were burned to the ground, businesses devastated, people's livelihoods taken away, violence and needless senseless injuries to people who had no business being injured. It's unfortunate that in our society we see a lot of the negative, a lot of the issues facing us with the police and with the community, whether it's in the United States, in Canada, in Denmark, Germany, Sweden, China, Japan, it doesn't matter. We hear about the negative, not the positive and it creates a false sense of fear in individuals and in communities. When I looked around the inner city areas of Los Angeles after the riots, it brought tears to my eyes to see how a community could be at odds with each other in such a violent and devastating manner. It's not all of the police out there that are causing the problems. It's a very, very, very small number of bad apples in a bunch. Unfortunately, the same goes for society. It's very few select individuals that get the media play that make an entire community and nation and world look violent and ugly. It's time for us to please step back Take a look around. Everybody, take a breath. Try to come to rational and calmness as you go through your thoughts and try to come to the understanding that violence isn't the way to solve it. As we look at what's going on in the US, I understand the frustration and the anger and the pain that people are going through. The frustration at the hands of police departments and police officers who are turning a blind eye to the violence within their own system. Here on the screen you can see a report from Surrey, British Columbia. This is on CKNW News going back to November in 2014 where I personally was the victim of brutality and needless violence at the hands of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Following that, the officer who had a history of violence, excessive force, including the assault of a woman at a traffic stop, dragged her out of her hair, or uh, sorry, out of her car by her hair, and threw her to the ground and assaulted her. This officer once again 
got off the charges. The first several times he was criminally charged with excessive force and violence and assault. It was thrown out because the RCMP investigating themselves took too long to get it into the courts through the Crown Prosecutor. The judge threw it out. The RCMP again investigated him when he had assaulted myself, him and his partner, and once again he was let off criminally. Unfortunately, these are the very few you know, select officers that I'm talking about that if they aren't taken seriously when the complaints are filed against them in the early days of their career and as the violence will slowly progress, and it may not even be that slowly, it could be rapid. So if we don't deal with the officers that are causing the violence on our streets, how can we expect that the people causing the violence in terms of the criminals are going to be prosecuted and held to account when we can't even do so with the police who are expected to enforce those laws. Here you can also see where there are pictures here of injuries I sustained in a separate assault where I defended myself against the group of attackers and I was actually charged as well for assault for defending myself. This is where the frustration is coming in. People are not feeling safe, not only walking down the street by strangers being assaulted, but also at the hands of the police to protect them. And instead they're fearing these individuals as a result, once again, a very select few officers. The officer who assaulted me here in the other article may have gotten off and gotten away with it once again. But I don't wish harm on him or any other officer. Quite the contrary. I hope that he does find peace and find a way to resolve situations and issues in a calm, peaceful, manner through communication and until that time that he finds a way to deal with the anger other than assaulting others and causing such brutal injuries to people. So as we go to bed tonight and over the next couple of weeks I ask that everyone whether it's in Toronto, Los Angeles, Minneapolis, Dallas, Baton Rouge, Washington, and everywhere else around the world to please stay calm. Everybody take a step back, regroup, and let's work together to find solutions in a peaceful and democratic manner. We need to hold those responsible for violence accountable, but we must not paint every officer Every black person, every white person, every yellow person, every green person, it doesn't matter. We can't paint everybody with the same brush. We have to hold the individuals accountable and take back our communities and make them stronger. Make them stronger and better for the next generation and for future generations to come. So please, everyone, I beg you to please stop the violence, calm down, Take a step back and let the dust settle. Let's work together to find solutions because obviously the violence has to stop.